Hey, Instagram. It's me, T, from the Patterson Statement Fans. And today is Thursday, which means it's my favorite day because this is when I get to talk to you about audio drama. You know, uh, uh, this, this is a series. On, on Mondays, I talk about myself. On Tuesdays, I talk about U.S. politics. On Wednesdays, I talk about world politics. Thursdays, I talk about audio drama. Fridays is just a wrap-up or something like that. Saturdays and Sundays, we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> now, if this internet holds out, because lately it's been boom, 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 boom. So here I am. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to have to take a walk, man. I think I'm going to I'm going to I'm try to find me some seeded grapes or something like that. Anyway, I was sitting here. And I always think about audio drama. I don't care where I am. I'm thinking about audio drama. And I was thinking, now, if I was going to do audio drama here, what would I do? Now, remember, I have a theater background and a radio background. So my audio, my live audio drama incorporates a whole bunch of stuff. Like, for instance, I was thinking, there's a thing called Theater of Dreams. Um, where, where basically you're, you're, you're in a the theater and then the, the, the company said they have a, like a, a clothing rack or a props rack. And, um, and then they have the, then the theater company, because they're, they're, they're seasoned, you know what I mean, they're improv players. They will go into the audience and say, well, what, what kind of dream did you have? Did everybody tell you about your dream? And then they will act out the dream. You see? So I was thinking, I'm sitting here. How would I pull this off here? Because that's what audio dramatists do. They always be thinking about how that. Now, let, let us take a little walk. Let's see what, what, what I would do. Right? So I'm inside right now. So the inside part here, like this, the outside is over there, right? The inside part here, maybe I can turn this around so you can see. It's kind of breezy out there, but let's see what happens. I'll turn this around. Yeah, there we go. So this inside part here, where the glass is, I would set up the sound effects table in this area here. Then out here, you know, I would be out here, and let's say, for instance, here, I would have uh, some musicians, a musician's corner over over in this area here. Uh, this would be what I would, oh, speak, the speaker, the speaker would be here, right? And this, and then I have my voice actors, oh, let me turn this back around, right? Uh, my voice actors would be right, right where I am right now, you know, in this area here. So, you know, see what, what you don't see, but don't worry about it. Then over in this area, this is the, oh, come here, let's go back. Then over here is the uh, is the lawn, right? Then here, let's say I would have uh, maybe four tables that would hold five people, or four tables that would hold six people in here, like a like a garden setting, right? Right? Then I would have over in that uh, over in that wall over here, this wall right here. I would have uh, uh, maybe I have that clothing rack, you know, or that that props rack right here. Here, no, no, maybe I have the barbecue over here because it'd be like a lawn. Thing. So have the barbecue over in this section here, like that, uh, you know, a, a bride for you people that's in the, you know, in, the, in South Africa. Over here, I might have that, that like I was saying, that, that uh, uh, the props rack, right? So, so, and then, then you would have these round tables here, maybe about four of them, each sitting six people or five sitting, sitting, whatever, how many people. And then what would happen is I have the actors, right? Now, now here's, here's the thing. Now you say, why have a prop shot? Well, because I, I think like this, right? I would have, uh, we have the voice actors, which would be back here. And the voice actors, there would be voice actors. We have the microphone here, the speakers over there, with a screen, and the sound effects back there behind the thing there, and the musicians right behind here, like they did, like that, okay. Now the voice actors would just be here. Maybe you had three or four voice actors that can affect different kinds of voices, right? Then I'd have three or four, uh, only have about two or three voice actors. They have three or four actor actors. <laughs> we'll just call them pantomime actors. And maybe I'll get that, 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 you know, you have that um, see through like lace that would come like that, over them like that. And then I'd have them just painted like, like, like Maasai, like Maasai paintings or something like that, you know, like the people that jump up and down, right? And, uh, you know, Africans that jump up and down, the tall ones, right? And then they would go around with a microphone, good, you know, handheld microphone. And, ask, and, the, and the voice actor say, what do we, or the, maybe if we have a narrator, maybe it'd be me. I'm directing this thing. I'll, I'll be right, I'll be, I'll be over there. I'll be someplace. I said, no, what, who's had a dream tonight? Where's your hand? No, no, I know you had a dream. And then, then, the, then the, uh, the voice actor, rather, the, the, the pint of my actor was going there. And then, let's talk straight into my, tell us what your dream was. And then tell us about the dream. And then, and then we said, okay, we'll get right back to you. Then I'll have a singer. So one of the, one of the voices, one of the pantomime actors would be a singer. And, or maybe they all be singers. 
and they'll they'll sing a song about the dream. As they sing a the song, then the rest of the actors will go to one of them. Rest of the actors will come back here. They figure out what they're going to do to, to to act out this uh this this, this dream with the voice actors. How they're going to do it? Da, da, da. Then they go to the rack, and the song is still being sung, right? And then they go and they put the, they put the costumes on, right, or with the props on, right? And they would act out. Well, yeah, they would act out. See, the voice actors here. They would act out the dream over there. The people would people would be confused. Either they have to look at the the uh, uh, the voice actors over here, or look through the thing and see the, the sound effects over there, or they got to look at the thing like that. It's like a three ring circus, right? That's why I do my audio dramas, and that's what I do. I do maybe three, three, three dreams, you know. So I take my, eh, and then we'd have a we have a bride, you know, a, a barbecue. That's how I would stage it. I, I, that's the that's that's what the that's what the, the, the setting calls for. See, I do my stuff by even when I wrote, wrote plays, I got to see I got to see the uh, the space, you know, and I write for the space. So I create for the space. That's that's what I do. And you know, here's the thing. He said, "Why would you do something so complicated? Why don't you do that?" I said, and, and I would do it. And we do be no rehearsals because it's theater dreams. You know what I mean? So I would do it because it's a challenge because I could. You know. I haven't had a, I, I've never had a, f a failed audio drama. Well, stuff I made, but well, that wasn't really my fault. Except for BA, the last one I tried to do a BAI, uh, the, uh, the so-called program director, uh, a sky, at the last minute, you know, nixed it. But we still, we still did it. But it's like, it's always a white woman. And anyway, so most of all, I've never had a failed audio drama. And everybody has always been involved. They've come out very happy because we have a happy, happy time. We have fun when we do audio dramas, theater or something else. But I'm just saying. So that's 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 what I want to tell you about audio drama. That's why I do audio drama because it's fun. Everybody is happy. It's just you know it's inventive, right? It's like it happens only one time, so you can't get the adrenaline <laughs> going. You can't mess up, and it's spontaneous, you know. It would be wonderful. In fact, even musicians, I mean, maybe invite a bunch of and I mean, like make them come up on stage, make them, up, you know, invite them, do a little you know, soiree between between acts or something like that. We'll figure something out, okay? All right, just want to tell you, this is, this is Thursday, it's audio drama day. Got to tell you something, all right? Okay, talk to you later, next time.